This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Drama, rumors, high school rivalries. Let's show them who we are. They're not backing down. An eclipse is coming. See you in the shadows, Rainbow High. Everyone's so perfect and so neat From the bougie school across the street They all dress so fly but underneath, but underneath They wanna be they like, wanna be like us. us They wanna be like us Hold up. Everyone's so perfect and so neat From the bougie school across the street They all dress so fly but underneath They wanna be like us They wanna be like us Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Fang. We'd like to send a huge thank you to MGA for sending us this product for free. We've seen the mysterious trademarks, the speculation, and the teasers. But the time has officially come to discuss Shadow High in real life. Shadow High is a new line of dolls from MGA Entertainment, the creators of Rainbow High and LOL Surprise. Set in the same world as Rainbow High, Shadow High is a rival fine arts school just across the street. Here, the talent is unwavering and the creativity is unmatched. Its unique students may thrive in the shadows, but they always let their true colors shine. The debut core set of Shadow High will include six brand new grayscale fashion dolls, a heavy contrast to Rainbow High's vibrant colors. Each character comes with two signature outfits and many accessories perfect for mixing and matching. In today's video, we'll be giving an in-depth review of Shadow High's trend-setting boy, Ash Silverstone. We'll be sharing all the details you need to know, including up-close looks at his unique sculpt, how it compares to the Rainbow High boys, when and where you'll be able to buy him, all the fashion details, introductions to the other new characters, and much more. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss a moment of the adult collector perspective here on Toy Chat. Rest assured, we'll be reviewing the remainder of the Shadow High crew once we've got our hands on them. The PR box MGA sent us had a couple goodies to tease the new series, including not only this Ash doll, but a Shadow High admissions form, student ID card, a poster, and pair of matching shirts to dress for the occasion. We'll show that entire unboxing process on screen here. Shadow High dolls suggested retail price is $29.99, and they're coming to Target, Walmart, and Amazon in the near future. Our sources tell us that pre-orders for these Shadow High students will be on April 11th. While they're expected to hit store shelves by April 25th, keep a close watch over at the official Shadow High Instagram, linked below, for more information on when these gorgeous characters will become available. We'll display Ash's UPC barcode and target DP side number on screen here so you'll be ready to doll hunt when it's time. Links to purchase him online will also be added in the description below once they become available. Collectors familiar with Rainbow High will recognize this style of packaging is nearly identical to the standard Rainbow High boxes, but with a twist. The Shadow High boxes feature an inverted design of the rival school. The Shadow High dolls are displayed on the left side with the clothing and accessory compartment boxes on the right side, opposite of Rainbow High. Check them out side by side. Won't they look great displayed next to each other? The Shadow High boxes retain the colorful holographic rainbow packaging, but with great glitching effects added to the design. Character artwork of the full cast line the bottom of the curved window display. Along the curve of the box is the new Shadow Hide logo in a holographic gray. A YouTube sticker is applied as well. At the top, a tag reading Ash Silverstone is found, along with a wax stamp emblem labeling Series 1. Does this mean more Shadow High is in the cards? The motto, Let Your True Color Shines, is written across the top. Like recent Rainbow High releases, the School Focus emblem is located on the side. Ash's School Focus is audio and visual effects. The back of the box features artwork of all six new characters in Shadow High Series 1. At the very bottom, there is a blurb that reads, Rainbow High has officially met its match. Expect the unexpected from the fine art students of Shadow High. So, would you like to be introduced to them all? We recently got a better look at the actual dolls in a post from the official Shadow High Instagram. 
Starting from the left, we have Natasha Zima, who is a cosmetic chemistry focus. Next to her is Heather Grayson, a special effects makeup focus. Our boy Ash is in the center, followed up by someone who looks awfully familiar, doesn't she? Her name is Luna Madison, and her focus is film. Can't wait to hear more about her and any connections she may have with a particular student across the street. Clearly that Sailor Moon inspiration is still running strong in the Madison family. After that, we've got Chanel Onyx, who is a couture fashion design focus. And finally, kneeling in the front is Nicole Steele. Her focus is installation art. So who's your favorite so far? Sound off and let us know in the comments. All right, let's get to opening Ash here for a closer look. The unboxing process of Shadow High dolls is about the exact same as Rainbow High. Removing all the tape makes it quite easy to just open the flap from the back and slide out all the compartments. Ash is now fully freed from his packaging and ready for his close-up. That's right, there's something different about Ash compared to the previous boys. Aside from, of course, the fact that he's entirely grayscale right down to his skin. Ash is sporting a brand new male face sculpt. While you might notice a few unique features, the most notable difference is his eyes. Don't you think they give him a sly, cool expression? His eyes are indeed a cool gray with lines of blue and green that creates an illusion of a holographic effect. A dark gray line creates the eyelid crease. He has gray ombre eyebrows with white streaks. Unlike his artwork, our Ash does not come with the eyebrow slit on his left eye. His lips are painted a light matte gray, slightly darker than his pale gray skin tone. There's a thin black line painted in the crease of his lips for dimension. Ash is rocking a slick back haircut with a side fade. His rooted hair is a shiny silver, which on first glance looks awfully similar to River's hairstyle. But on closer inspection, Ash's hair is cut with layers, where River's hair is longer without any discerning layers. The side of Ash's head has black flocking with a neat line shaven in, aka a hard part on each side of his head. And what's this? Ash is the first boy to have earring holes. We hope to see this trend continue with future boys in both Rainbow and Shadow High. Ash's earring holes are cleverly used to hold his pearly white AirPods. You can remove and swap them with different accessories if you like. Onward with his first ensemble, which includes a windbreaker jacket, a t-shirt underneath, and some ski pants. Rainbow High, in relation to Shadow High, aren't known to disclose exact inspiration for their character's clothing, nor can we claim to be fashion experts, so we will try to dissect these clothing items as well as we can. Of course, sound off if you're able to identify other fashion inspirations. Let's have a healthy conversation down in the comments. We love to hear about your personal discoveries. Ash's jacket looks like it may be inspired by Super Dry's outerwear. We have seen similar use of Japanese characters on Rainbow High fashions in the past. The jacket has a nylon fabric material similarly found in Windbreakers. The right sleeve reads Shadow High Since 2022 in black print with Japanese katakana printed above it in white. Katakana is a form of Japanese written script often used for words or phrases of foreign origin. In this case, it literally reads the English phrase Team Shadow or Jim Shadow exactly as it's written phonetically. Below this is additional Japanese script, this time in kanji, which reads Kage Koko, which translates to Shadow High School. On the left side sleeve, we see two of the same kanji with one missing character, which has it reading Ane, translating roughly to just shadow or gloom. We once again see the Team Shadow Katakana beside the kanji, as well as the number 86 in black below. Printed panels reading Shadow High Established 2022 Anti-Sparkle line the bottom. The torso of the jacket has a faux zipper lining the opening and two functioning chest pockets decorated with silver buckled straps reading Shadow. One of the cutest features of this jacket is that you can actually fasten it closed or open it using a functional button closure by the collar just below another loose strip of fabric. The asymmetrical collar and shoulder panels are lined in jet black fabric, and there's soft black fabric down the bottom trim as well. Across the back of the jacket, we can see shadow high in black print above the Team Shadow Katakana. Fun fact about kanji, it can have entirely different meanings with different combinations of characters. Sang and I took a few years of Japanese in school, but did not retain most of our kanji knowledge. 
Huge shout out to our friend Deliberate on Instagram for helping us out with our translation process. If we remove Ash's jacket, we can see his black t-shirt beneath. A silver holographic shadow logo is printed three times in the shape of a triangle, and the shirt opens in the back with Velcro. It's possible this design is inspired by a similar one from Palace Skateboards. This shirt matches the life-size ones MGA sent us in the PR package so we can match our boy Ash. Ash's loose-fit strawstring pants have a stretchy fabric waistband and functioning pockets on each hip. There's a partially obscured kanji in iridescent silver print over the left pocket. It reads Gein, which translates to silver. There are two additional cargo pockets over each knee with fabric flaps and decorative buttons. The left side one has a printed emblem reading level 99, just above the team shadow katakana. A black patch with the word shadow in white embroidery is sewn just below the right cargo pocket. There are pairs of two iridescent panels at the bottom of the pants, with soft weight cuffs to match the waistband. The pants have two more iridescent panels over the rear. Ash's signature shoes are light gray sneakers with sculpted laces and zigzag ridges along the midsole. If you look around both sides of each shoe, the word shadow is sculpted in stylized lettering. An SH emblem decorates the back, and the soles are gray and white. He also wears black socks with glittery silver stripes at the cuffs. Although the stylized lettering of these shoes are similar to Series 1's Jade's shoes, we believe Ash's could borrow inspiration from the Reebok Zig Pulse design. Alright, so let's take a closer look at Ash's second outfit. It starts with a white t-shirt featuring a graphic of an astronaut and a Team Shadow Katakana surrounding a dark spear with sparkles. If you look closely, you'll notice the silver details on the astronaut have a bit of a holographic twinkle. Over this tee, Ash can wear a gray and white varsity hoodie. There are decorative metallic silver buckles over each side of the faux zipper lining. They cannot actually buckle close, but add great aesthetic. There are functioning pockets on each side as well. Both sleeves have a matching design, stitched with a glittery silver patch that reads Eclipse, and silver pockets underneath that. Each pocket does have a real opening beneath the flap, but they are tough to actually use since the buckle straps are sewn closed at the bottom. The miniature hoodie is a solid white fabric, no velcro here, but it's too small to actually go over his head. The back of the hoodie once again features the shadow kanji and printed shadow high logo below. Oh, and one can't miss detail of this hoodie, it has little thumb holes for his hands at the cuffs. Totally stylish and totally adorable. Ash's secondary pants offer a plethora of mix and match possibilities. The first are a slim fit pair of jet black pants with faux zipper openings at the knee. These are very soft and form fitting, almost functioning more like leggings. These might have been inspired by Saint Laurent's biker zipper knee denim jeans. He also comes with a pair of light gray drawstring cargo shorts, which could be worn on their own or over the longer black pair. Just like the hoodie arm pockets, the pockets here have sewn closed straps and there is an SH emblem at the waist. Ash's secondary shoes are mostly white sneakers with sculpted black laces reading Shadow High across the collar and Los Angeles, California just above the outer sole. We found a handful of real-world shoes with very similar designs, including Zadiso, available on Amazon, but we're unsure of this design's actual origin. Just like mainline Rainbow High dolls, Shadow High characters come complete with a hair comb and display stand. Ash has the male sculpt stand clasp to match the other boys in sparkly black. You may notice, however, that Shadow High has a unique stand base. It's decorated with some edgy studs along the exterior and sports the unique SH logo sculpted over the front. If we take a look at Ash fully undressed, we can see he has painted on metallic silver underwear and his body sculpt features all the same articulation points as the Rainbow High Boys, including that handy ankle joint, which allows him to stand on his own very well. It also looks as though he sports the same hand sculpt as River and Finn. All right, from here, let's jump into our final thoughts on Shadow High's Ash Silverstone. Max and I are incredibly grateful to take part in premiering Shadow High to you guys and the rest of the community. We also want to thank MGA for including us in their Shadow High campaign. It's been epic and a roller coaster behind the scenes. We received Ash just a bit prior to this launch, so we've been following alongside with everyone with all the epic teasers and hints Shadow High has been dishing out. It's a real testament of the success and popularity of the Rainbow High brand to be able to hype up such a mysterious launch. And I am utterly shocked 
how little has been leaked or spoiled about Shadow High. I think leaks do generate hype and discussion, but there's nothing like watching something premiere with no spoilers. I know I had a lot of fun speculating with Max and other friends on what Shadow High could even be. So you tune in here to hear our honest opinion, and here it is. $30 for a doll. Is that fair? Prior signature Rainbow High dolls started out as $26.99 less than two years ago and gradually increased to $27.99 as of Series 3 back in September. And here we are at $2 more with Shadow High. Do I think Shadow High dolls are worth the extra dough over Rainbow High? No. They do not come with anything extra compared to their counterpart. The quality is still great from what I can tell. So it comes down to general inflation. As we discussed in prior videos, we need to brace ourselves for an increase in prices across the board. Personally, I am willing to pay more to keep the quality and fair value the same. I think it's safe to assume that once Series 4 of Rainbow High is released, we can expect similar price increases. With that mindset, I can definitely recommend Shadow High to you guys. If you're watching this video, you probably have some interest in Shadow High or Rainbow High. Or you're like me and have nearly every Rainbow High product. So Shadow High retains the charm and high fashion zeal that we love about Rainbow High. That said, I am curious if Shadow High will have the same impact with new fans and potential buyers on the toy aisle as Rainbow High did. A part of the Rainbow High charm is the literal colorful cast of characters, which for the most part is visually missing here. You got the Rainbow High fans, but can Shadow High attract new fans? Time will tell. I just know they already have me in their court. So, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say Shadow High's big building mystery really had me intrigued from the start, and as Sang said, it's been a lot of fun theorizing all the possibilities leading up to launch. Now that we've finally seen our boy Ash in person and have a much better idea of what to expect from all the other characters, although I do have to say part of me was hoping for something a little more directly fantasy leaning, I won't forget the experience of seeing Ash in person for the first time. It might be easy to assume grayscale equates to dull in comparison to vivid colors, but MGA has truly created something haunting and intriguing, in a good way, with this new series. Although some might argue it could be a tougher sell to the masses as opposed to its rival school, I admire this risk taking from a doll brand and am thinking Shadow High actually has the potential to expand the fan base and might even appeal to folks looking for something a bit darker and more otherworldly than Rainbow High. At first sight, Ash almost gave me slight Novi Stars vibes, if any of you remember that MGA brand of alien dolls. Personally, I am a huge fan of the spooky cute aesthetic, and the word that really comes to mind with Ash is cool. He's just such a cool, striking doll in person. As for the nuanced subject of rising price points, Ash has so many luxe details from his eye-catching AirPods to intricate stitching, embroidery, and iridescent panels all over his clothes. I personally think he earns his value. If you've been a fan of the Rainbow High Boys so far, but are open to something a bit different and harder edged, I'd highly recommend checking out Ash. So, are you team Shadow High? Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for joining us for today's video. We worked really hard on it, so we hope you guys liked it. Once again, thank you so much MGA for sending us Ash Silverstone to share with you all. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. Check out our full Rainbow High playlist in the video description below. Let us know what you wanna see next on our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.